Okay guys, welcome back to another Going Medieval episode. So today I'm going to basically get them to start removing the uh, slants, which they already started doing. And then um, what I'm going to also end up doing is I'm going to go ahead and start building stairs over here. And then we can fence this off and then we can get um, basically some of this cobble or limestone, I think it's called. Uh, mined out so we can start working on the courtyard and f figuring out where we need everything for that um, Apparently it's night, but it still seems pretty bright out. So it must be like a full moon or something. I'm not sure why it's so bright, but um, Turns out that It's pretty bright. Why are you running? all the way around <laughs> I guess she was like over here or whatever and decided to go that way even though that the shorter route was this way. <laughs> that's interesting. I'm not sure why that's the case. Alright, anyhow. Uh, yeah. So, I did tell... Uh, I can't really re pronounce his name. Clen... Clendred? Clendred? I think that might be how it's pronounced. Or Sendred... I don't know. Um, so basically, he he had a uh, straw hat, right? So I basically made sure that he had something to wear. Because he was getting a little bit cold. So we'll um, start working on the churches today, I think. And as soon as we start getting a little bit of cobblestone, we'll know where to basically build the um, foundation around here, right? So... For the courtyard, I wanted to put in like a courtyard kind of thing in this area. I know that there's not going to be a lot of sunlight, so growing things won't be that uh, good. But um, we'll at least be able to know where the courtyard is. And then we can have that as our trade hub. And then our churches. So I think that would be really nice to have. But we'll see what we can come up with. I, I know that I'm going to need a lot of room, so probably about that much for the churches. And then we'll have like this much space. So I don't know. We'll figure it out. But um, I want to make sure that this area is fenced off and that uh, we can get up and down just in case. Because at the moment there is no way up or down. Oh, there is actually. Never mind. Oh, wait. No, that was the lower level. And that's the higher level. Okay, yeah, I guess there is a way up and down then. But if we were to fence off...
Right, so I basically am telling them to mine this. We should get a little bit of um, cobble or limestone from this, which will give us uh, some building materials to work with. Now, um, I'm not sure exactly how much is here. Uh, this says it's dirt, so limestone. We can probably mine these little parts out. That's dirt, limestone, limestone, that's dirt, limestone, dirt. All right, so I think it's just around there, but I do remember there being a lot of uh, either ore or whatever under this part. I can't remember exactly. Yeah, there's a lot of limestone up here, so we'll be able to mine all that out, uh, no problem. So as long as we have uh, this area fenced off, uh, we should be fine. Uh, one of the things that we will have to start considering is basically mining us out and then we'll basically build our wall out that way, I guess. Uh, that should give us a little bit more protection. If we need to expand out a little bit more, we can always uh, mine all that out and then build the wall from here over. And we can always expand further if we need to. But uh, right now we just need the cobblestone or limestone. <laughs> I keep calling this cobblestone. But it's basically cobblestone. It's like it looks like a cobblestone texture when you actually place it. So that's why I'm getting a little bit confused. All right, so these are growing. Uh, that one's growing, growing. It's still growing. That's young, mature. So we can chop that one down. That's good. That's good. All right. So we're on day eight. So spring should be coming up soon. Uh, we only have 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 4 more days left to actually do that. We can chop this tree down as well. And I haven't been planting any of the um, saplings yet because I don't want to waste our saplings. Uh, but I do have uh, about, I think, 3 different types of saplings growing here. I want to leave this space open for the time being, um, just because we will eventually need more different types of wood. And actually, you know what? Let's do that right now. We'll set up the uh, colifer or whatever it is, the pine trees. Scott's pine. So we'll set those up right over here. One. We'll just pause so they don't go start planting it. I think we can plant it there. I'm not sure if that's going to interfere with the clay there or not. I think we can't actually plant it on clay, so...
Alrighty then, so I started working on the first church and I'm gonna bring it up a couple floors for this area. I'm not sure what we're gonna put in these little nooks, but um, it might provide a little bit of um, like rooms that we can basically go ahead and uh, rent out kind of like temporary rooms for people to kind of live in while we build other houses and stuff so that might be an option uh, it was going to be a bell tower but there's no bells in this game so um, we can go ahead and do that at least uh, the sides uh, like this part here I'm going to kind of like expand out a little bit using the parts like this that should give us okay so that requires something there right uh, I think we'll be able to get away with just putting a regular floor in and that should allow us to build on it yes all right so we'll do this and that should do good and then what we can do is we can go ahead and build that like that I think that will look good for what we need. Oh, and there's a merchant caravan in. I'm not sure what they provide, so we'll have to um, take a quick look. Let's uh, send her there to see what he offers. Okay, so let's see here. Advanced research table. Basic research table. Uh, blacksmithing forge, brick, and the limestone. Uh, we could probably get a brick one, I guess. Well, that's like 600. Ooh, I don't know if we have enough stuff to sell for that. Uh, what else does he have? I don't know. No livestock with them, so we can't really do that. Although, he does sell a cartographer table, but that's like 200. <laughs> Furniture is always so expensive. Uh, I'll see if there's any good trades here, then we'll take them up on it or not. Uh, let's see here. Research table, that's the next level one. Alright guys, so we got the church done, uh, we got a roof on it and all that, I just need to enable the uh, 
visual roof so you can actually see it so I think we did pretty good and I rather than try to fit in the other church in this little section here I don't think it would have been big enough to actually do that we might have had to do wall to wall so I didn't do that instead what I did was I put a small little cemetery for when our settlers die uh, we'll be able to uh, build some graves and stuff like that for them so uh, yeah I think this looks pretty darn good i'm happy with the exterior as well as the interior um i decided to go with the oak baron on this one so this is basically what it looks like on the inside kind of um let's remove the roof so you can kind of see a little bit better so we have some banners i don't have enough linen cloth to actually build finish that banner there but uh we got uh, some heat, we got some of these decorative um, wall pieces, we got a couple barren things like the uh, shrines, so, and then we got a whole line of uh, torches as well, so, um, the aesthetic visual part for this is like pink, so it's like past two, if we hover over it you can kind of see that it's like 3.5 over here, 3.7, I just saw it somewhere around here, 3.7 there, 3.8 so I think it goes up to about 3.8 and then slowly by the door it starts to decrease so uh, around like one point something I think but outside of that um, I'm pretty happy with the design uh, we probably mimic the design with uh, the uh, other church but um, outside of that, if you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, rate the video, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.